So, the YouTube hate speech boycott. So we're going to read through this article on business news, and then we're going to take a look at some tweets that I found from famous YouTubers who are having their videos demonetized. And you might be surprised at some of the videos that are being demonetized, but we'll get to that. But first, US giants join YouTube hate video ad boycott. An advertising boycott against YouTube has spread to the US, where three of the country's largest advertisers, AT&T, Verizon, and Johnson & Johnson, have suspended ads on the video platform. The move follows confirmation by one of Ireland's biggest ad agencies, Core Media, that it has paused all of its clients' ad campaigns on YouTube and Google Display Network. Companies such as Marks & Spencer, McDonald's, and Tesco have already withdrawn advertising from YouTube in the UK because of the ads being placed within extremist YouTube videos. Such videos include rape apologist, anti-Semitism, and terrorist propaganda. Under Google's advertising system, creators of such videos get paid around uh, 7 euros for every thousand clicks. Core Media, which represents Heineken, AIB, and the National Lottery, among others, made its decision to suspend ad campaigns with YouTube and GDN over concerns that ads were appearing within videos that did not suit their clients' branding. Until we are confident that a solution to the brand safety challenge is in place, Core Media is pausing all ad campaigns on YouTube and GDN, said Alan Cox, chief executive of Core Media. Another large Irish ad company, Havas Media Ireland, said that it was consulting with clients such as Hyundai, Emir uh, Emirates, and the FAI over whether or not to suspend ad campaigns on YouTube and Google. However, the boycott does not apply to Google search ads, where Google makes much of its advertising revenue. YouTube is yet again falling from grace as advertisers have began backing out after a Wall Street Journal article claiming that some of their ads were on racist videos. But yet again, the Wall Street Journal is attacking YouTube, but this time it's not the king that they're attacking, but their revenue source. This YouTube boycott is thought to cost Google $750 million. And while some would argue that this isn't censorship, it kind of is. This neo-censorship doesn't tell us what we can say, but encourages what we ought to be saying. It also discourages talking about certain things. This has been affecting a variety of different YouTubers, including Boogie2988, H3H3 Productions, Critical, um, Chris Raygun, Steven Crowder, and, and many others. And a lot of them have been coming together trying to find a way to say thank you to the people who are still around. So Keemstar got a trending hashtag, which is still trending while I'm recording this video, called Thank You Coke, hashtag Thank You Coke. And it turns out that Coke had actually pulled out on Friday as well. So there's a good chance that people at Coca-Cola are rather confused. I wanted to expand a little bit more on this idea of neo-censorship. So a lot of people will say that a business has every right to not do business with somebody or to silence certain people because they're a business, they're not the government. Well, when you have a lot of influence, it kind of changes the name of the game. If you have a monopoly on something, it makes you essentially as powerful as a government. Take, for example, PG&E, right? There's no other company that brings you electricity. Now, if PG&E decided one day that they didn't want to start doing business with people who believed a certain way or thought, you know, believed in a certain religion, what would happen? Do you think that that logic would follow through in that scenario as well? I personally don't. Or Comcast. It's, it's essentially the same thing. A company becomes as powerful as the government, and they have an authority that they can wield similar to the government. So that's really all I have to say for this video. Uh, the YouTubers definitely got to start sticking together. This shit's going to get pretty crazy because I do believe, and I don't have much evidence to back me up other than these two instances of the Wall Street Journal, but I think the media, this is their attack on the new media. This is... the the larger companies getting together to try to find out a way to silence the people who are making a living doing this. So basically, the people who are trying to become the new media are going to have to also work on the side too, which is kind of bullshit. But uh, anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I always go through and read those. I don't always reply because I, I just don't know what to say. Usually somebody gets there before I do and has this <laughs> and phrases what I could say better because, you know, Sometimes I can't quite translate well in comments. Anyways, uh, thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you guys later.